Okay, class, this is what we're going to do to practice our spelling words today. As you can see, I have the spelling words posted on the board. And when you look up here at the top of the page where it says words with J, K, and KW, when it has these um, forward slashes, it's telling you what those sounds are. I don't see any J's in here or K's or KW's, right, in our spelling words. They're not in your words, but those are the sounds that we're hearing, okay? So we're going to practice coding our words. So we're going to use different colors to code the sounds that we're hearing, okay? The ones that we're going to start with are the J sounds, okay? So I'm going to circle the J sound words, and we're going to say them together. So here's the first one. Y'all say it with me. Ledge. Y'all hear that sound at the end of the word, how it sounds like a J? What letters are combining to make that J sound? D, G, E. Okay. Now let's go to the next one. Nudge. Y'all say it with me. Nudge. Do you hear that same sound? It has a J sound, but there's no J in there. Good, Kaylee. Good. We see the D, G, and E again. So that's what we're coding. The D, G, and E that makes that sound, okay? And what I mean by coding is you're going to, on your paper today, so let's go to a blank sheet. You're going to have one side that has the J. So it's going to be the J sound. Okay, and you're going to pick one color to represent that J sound, which the letters that made that J sound were what? D, G, and E, right? So let's just say I wanted to use black for, oh, black doesn't work. Let's try blue. D, G, and E. So that means for all of those words, I'm going to keep that same color, D, G, and E. And then the rest of my letters, I'm going to pick a different color so I can see the pattern on how to spell it for my spelling test on Friday, tomorrow. Okay? So even though I'm hearing a J sound, I'm not going to spell ledge L. E J, even though I'm hearing that J sound, I'm going to spell it L E D G E. Okay. What was the next one? Nudge. So even though I hear a J sound, I'm not going to spell it that way. I'm going to do N U D G E. Okay. Now let's go back. I want to also do a different coding. We're going to do the K W. Okay. So all the J words. The J sounds are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then we have one over here with the DG, DGE, okay? So in all those letters, the D, G, and E need to be the same color. So if you pick pink, then the I should look and see pink for all of the D, G, E, okay? And then the rest of your letters needs to be the same color for the whole paper. So if you pick purple, then the rest of your letters in the word need to be purple on all seven of those, okay? Does that make sense? Okay. Now the other sound we're going to look at is the K, W sound. The K, W. Now I'm going to underline those words. Y'all say that word with me that I just underlined. Quiet. Quiet. Do y'all hear how the K and the W sound is at the beginning? Quiet. It sounds like a K and a W, but it's no K and W in the word. So what two letters are making that sound? Q and U. Very good. So that's going to be our second coding, the Q and the U. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and finish finding all of our QU words. So number 10, let's say that together. Court. Okay, number 11. Quick. Number 19. Quiver. Good. So one, two, three, four. You see another one? 18. There you go. Squill. So, see how that S K W sounds? Squill. But it's there's no K W. It's a Q U. Okay. So on your paper, let's go back to my blank page. We're working on the J sound, and then over here. We're working on the KW sound. So you can do the KW words on the right side of your paper and the J words on the left side of your paper. So the KW sound, what two letters did we say were making that sound? What two letters made that sound, Aaliyah? Q and U. So now I'm going to use that same color that I used over here for the J sound to do my KW sound, okay? So on this whole assignment, I should only see two colors. How many colors on this assignment? Two colors. The J sound needs to be in your color that you pick and the QU sound needs to be in that same color. So let's do quiver. QU and then the rest of the letters, okay? So the same colors are being used on both sides, okay? So you have seven of the J sound, KW, there's five. So only 13 or 12 letter or 12 words that you need to write today. Make sure you spell them correctly. That's the whole point of this, okay? So we're practicing our spelling. Are there any questions before we start? No? Bryson, question? Yes, you get to choose what color you want. Quiver. Yes, so if you choose purple, then the QU needs to be purple on all of the QU words. And then the, if you pick black for your second color, then the rest of the letters need to be black, okay? Same thing on the J sound. If you pick purple for the QU, then the DGE needs to be purple too on the other sound, side, okay?